Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at 2v2 Hellgates. Hellgates are something that spawn in the red and black zones that you kill this creature in the middle like we are doing now, and once you kill him, you actually get a portal, and this portal takes you to a 2v2 zone where it's full loot PvP. Um, and there's always only 2v2, or unless they bring just one guy, it'll be a 1v2 for you, so that'll be even easier. But uh, creatures in this region are lethal and will kill you. If you're knocked out, when killed, your carried items may break and will drop onto the ground. So when you die, you do lose everything. You do not want to die, obviously. Uh, when you go in, you want to make sure you overcharge. Um, what I would do is eat your food outside as your cooldowns on your abilities and your food will be ticking when you enter. And they could be right at the entrance waiting for you. So you can overcharge when you get in, but make sure you eat your food when you uh, before you jump in the Hellgate. The fame and the silver is actually pretty decent here. Uh, it's basically just a little bit smaller of a dungeon, and it really is probably one of the best uh, fame per hour sort of deals. So running around, just taking out these mobs while you wait for the people to come. I would right there. I use my E, which I would not use any abilities either, rather than your um, short cooldown ones like your Q. Um, I would save your abilities for the enemies that might show up on your screen. So right now we're just kind of going around clearing for fame farming a little bit. We're going to just kind of clear everything out of the way. And we'll be talking about the bosses on this map um, after this first fight. There are three bosses on this map that after you kill them, you get a treasure to loot. And you can get anything. Um, from like a T7, uh, 7 7.1 bag is I think one of the better drops I've gotten. It's a T7.1 bag which sells for about 180k or above. And you know, you can get some pretty solid drops. So here we go, we do spot some players. They're taking on this first boss. The bosses are not hard. You don't lose a lot of HP or anything. So they're gonna be just fine. Um, this guy's starting to charge in really quickly on my healer. So I try to peel him off a little bit, get the damage down. I got a lot of dots on him right now using my Q and W as Alf's just focusing on healing himself as they're attacking him. Um, he goes big mode and he's just out healing their damage and yeah, they're not going to have his chance here. As you can tell, his damage is just getting demolished by uh, Alf's heals. So we take the first guy out. The second guy's starting to run away and I don't think he's able to leave the area yet. I don't actually have a great answer on that. So he comes back in to fight, and what happens here is just what you would expect. He slowly dies, and we get all of their brick. Um, Alf took the other guy's loot. I'll take this guy's loot. Um, nothing spectacular on this drop from them, um, but but not bad either. Uh, the other guy had a T5 um, force and a couple other things that act actually end up adding up quite a bit. So now what we would want to do is take out those three bosses and get that treasure and we're gonna kinda show you that here in this Hellgate. So we're playing at kind of a uh, obscure time, we're playing at a time where it's a little bit less active, less players right now. Um, it is like 2 p.m. Eastern time, so or not 2 p.m., 2 a.m. Eastern time, so we kill the boss again um, right outside the Hellgate and after it dies the Hellgate does spawn so we're gonna pop the food, the beef stew that I'm running, um, he pops his food as well uh, actually, he overcharged there on accident, I believe, but that's fine. Um, so we jump in, and they could be waiting for us right at this entrance. Um, but they are not, so that's good for us. We get some time to mess around in the dungeon, get some fame a little bit before they come. So I do pop my overcharge now just because I know they're probably coming, and I'm not running great gear. So if I you know, lose some gear, it's not a big deal. Um, it's very important to make sure you have a pot of some sort. I am running a poison pot. Make sure you have a healing pot, poison pot, resistance pot, something something that would definitely help you. Um, you want tier 8 because that is probably one of the most important parts of the build. Um, so right now I'm just kind of running around the inside of the map because I don't want to take any bosses out. And like it's just not, it's honestly not great to be attacking a boss when they come in obviously. It kind of uh, keeps you kind of sidetracked. So we're kind of trying to take these smaller mobs out sorry guys I am a little sick so my voice may sound a little bit different today um, but I am taking out some of these smaller mobs and uh, you do get occasional dr item drops from them as well so you know while you wait it is kind of like a pre-game lobby in a way and it kind of gives you something to do while you're waiting for the other two uh, the other team to come out and as I'm running around um, 
just running around and killing things you got to make sure you're you're keeping an eye out for any any red players that come up on your screen because you don't want to obviously waste anything other than your Q like I said because you want to have those abilities up in case you get jumped on randomly or uh, you know something happens so you want to stay away from these uh, uh, these minions or monsters or bats or whatever you want to call them when they die because I do have a pretty huge damage uh, damage dealer when they die they have that explosion and actually does about one fourth or half your health so make sure you stay away from that because you don't want your healer have to pop all those heals right when they're coming and um, shouldn't be a big deal shouldn't be a big threat but now I'm gonna go over the bosses I know we're not attacking the bosses right now but we will uh, in this video the bosses are in the bottom right the top and the bottom left so the north side and the southeast side and the southwest side they have three bosses and they all give you standard um, loot kind of like gems nothing nothing spectacular you won't get great drops from them usually uh, but when you kill all three there will be a treasure that spawns dead center in the map and that'll take two minutes to spawn after you kill all of the bosses and once you kill all the bosses and you get that treasure uh, you are free to leave and I believe once you leave um, you will be invis when you spawn on the outside so they actually if they have people out there in that territory waiting for you it doesn't matter because you are actually invis and you have a little bit of a buff as well and so you're pretty safe to do that um, as I believe we're gonna try to take on this first boss we might not we might just run around the outside we'll see what happens it looks like Alps going in on the first boss so I'm gonna head back up here um, and we are gonna take the first boss out so you guys can see what that's like uh, he really doesn't do much damage he's just he's just a time waster uh, kind of like the minions in this area so I just throw my cues down not a big deal and he'll eventually die right here I show you guys the damage that he deals if you stand directly on top of all the skill shots he's obviously gonna do a little bit of damage but you know not too much and then the loot uh, so yeah that's what you usually get something something really weak and not not very spectacular but like I said it's all about that 2v2s and the fame farm honestly you get a lot of lot of good fame and once you get that treasure like I said you spawn out on the end that you can recall or spawn back where you started at the Hellgate um, and you'll be in just like I said you will have a little buff you will have like a 5% attack and a 5% defense buff I believe something like that it kind of makes you pretty strong so if there's anyone out there you can either fight or you can just run and you'll be fine but what I love about this is when you actually kill the begin uh, the middle guy or not the middle guy you kill the three bosses and you get that middle chest and you spawn out there there's actually a, the hellgate stays there out there so like you can re queue in a way that won't affect you so like if you uh, overcharge you can get probably four four hellgates ran before you run out if there's nobody that's showing up in these hellgates you're getting good fame you're getting good loot and you're able to just re queue in this matter of seconds so you're really I mean you're pretty well off doing Hellgates I think Hellgates is one of the most underrated uh, uh, game modes because it's just you get good fame you get good act like you get a I mean it's fun it's a lot of fun you get good you know fame good XP so I don't know I think Hellgates is very underrated and I would take the time to learn Hellgates maybe get a build uh, usually you want to go a, pre uh, a healer of some sort and a damage dealer uh, we have the great cursed here and we are going with a nature staff or a nature healer and really uh, what I'm saying though is when you spawn outside of the Hellgate um, once you leave the Hellgate you spawn and there's a boss right there to take on again and get right back into another Hellgate so you could run about four of these in a row before your overcharge actually breaks your items and your food actually breaks as well or not breaks but you know your your food goes away uh, runs out of time so this is this is one of my new favorite things to do it's it's you know great um, can be great money definitely great fame and I mean I have a lot of fun doing it we've had a lot of fun doing it I've only done it for you know a day or so and you know had some great success so I will probably be making more Hellgate videos coming up uh, with our wins and our battles with uh, other Hellgate players um, but this is a video just to kind of show you and explain to you guys what Hellgate 2v2s are and kind of going over you know what what you can do while you're waiting I mean going going through so this is one of the spawns by the way that teleporter right there is one of the spawns that they can come through I believe there are three in the map or something like that <coughs> and excuse me you need to basically just kind of run around to do your thing until they come and if they don't you know it's not a big deal because you're getting that good fame and good ex uh, good money so I mean do this at a popular time and I'm sure you won't have that issue of not having 
you know, any anybody come up into your Hellgate. So this is the third and final boss on this Hellgate. I'm going to stick around and show you guys what pops up when you kill the third and final boss. It should pop up saying a treasure spawns at two minutes. Um, let's see in a second. There you go. Treasure will spawn in the center in two minutes. So I'm going to let this video go for a little bit and you guys can see kind of how this works. Um, I'm going to let you guys watch this silently. And so if you guys want to watch and stick around, you can. And thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for tuning into the videos. Hope you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys learned a little bit from this or you like the content. See you next time, guys.